Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn about generative AI capabilities of Dialogflow CX platform. So let's get started. I'm here on my Dialogflow CX console and I have already selected a project and I'll then select an agent inside the project now this is my flow builder under the manage section if i go to you know data stores it will take me to another window and in this window you know the 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 ui can be different i guess the first thing you need to do is you need to select a billing account but once you do that i guess it will show you uh, this agent configuration, I'll, you know, uh, provide a fake name, test company, and I'll hit continue. And then, you know, it will show all the data stores that you already have created. I'll click on create new data store. There are three options. Uh, first, import data manually by calling API. So you call an API and you know uh, let me show you the documentation as well so uh, there are vertex apis that you can you know uh, call and you call the vertex api and you get the answer the next is you know uh, cloud storage so you add information into your cloud storage and you you know talk to that information then there is website content it says that automatically crawl public website uh, contents and all the things uh, if you do this you need to you know uh, when you when you choose this option dialog flow will provide you a code that code needs to be you know inserted into the website so that you know dialog flow can understand that uh, the website is owned by you in this demonstration i'll select you know cloud storage uh, it will you know ask three things either is a structured faq document in csv or in json or unstructured document like pdf uh, html txt docx ppt x are available in preview only but mainly it works with pdf and txt so what i'll do is that very quickly i'll download a paper called style dts 2 i'll very quickly download this and save this in my downloads now i'll come here i'll click on browse then it will show all the things in my uh, buckets but i don't have any so i'll create a new bucket i'll say raj kaparia youtube demo i'll okay my bad okay i'll hit um, I'll choose US multiple region. I don't have any problem with the standard. I'll guess. Yeah, create. Confirm. Okay, there is no object. Uh, what I'll do is that I'll, I'll not create a folder, but I'll hopefully insert something into this. Oh. I guess you know I'll be not able to do that but what I need to do is that I need to go to GCP console I need to choose the project and then hit on cloud storage under buckets click on the bucket I have and then upload file I'll select the file I want to upload.
one file uploaded successfully it is there so if i come here go back go back into this yeah i'll i see so what i can do is that i can select the bucket itself yeah and then continue uh, the data store name will be test data store i create that there is document processing options as well but you know we don't have to uh, worry about uh, those things at this moment and once you you know the process is complete you'll see your data store and hopefully i'll click create and this will yeah it is successfully created the app and you can see now available data store and under that i have this uh, test data store and it has you know it is showing that processing the data okay so i'll i'll wait for few brief seconds uh, before this actually comes up yeah it says that it is under process a uh, meanwhile if we come here under this uh, default start flow there is default welcome intent and other stuff but here in system no match default what i want to do is that instead of these things i'll i'll delete these things and i'll click on generator i'll click on add generator select generator but at this point it is not showing but if you know this process finishes we will see our taste data store here and we will oh my bad under add state handler you click on data store and apply and you know add uh, my bad click here and unstructured data you will see your you know uh, data store here but let's the let the process finishes first i'll resume the video once the process is uh, completed now if you look here the document is clearly uh, uploaded and if i go under activity you will see that the document is processed uh, there is no errors now if i come here and if i click here i can see test data store but if you don't see just refresh the page so i see uh, the test data store and under the agent says here is the you know response coming from the data store itself so i'll save this and hopefully if i come here and if i say hi yeah actually i have a web hook connected that's why we did not see that but if i say what is style tts2 yeah we see a response coming style tts2 is something 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 and obviously it is coming from this uh, document we have uh, uploaded in the data store next i want to show you one more thing is that we went to system no match default and under generator add generator generators allow you to use generative ai model to generate dynamic response or text that can be used during the fulfillment i'll click on new generator you know i'll say test generator i'll say you are helpful assistant politely say that you don't understand the user's query okay you can choose the model uh, there are a couple of i'll choose this and 
let me save this okay and you can see the output parameter is this so if i i'll i'll delete all of this okay and uh, this is the output parameter i'll copy this i'll paste it here and i'll save this so that means if i say something how are you oh uh, it went to this part actually but it did not show the generative part let me see if i'm making a mistake here okay mm -mm. If I come here under many generators, I have this generator. Okay, modify configuration. Okay, I guess. Yeah, there is a value, but I'm not sure why I wasn't able to see it. Because you can see there is a value itself. Mm. Okay, let me check if. Okay, let me use it as it is with a dot. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh. Okay, let me click enable generative fallback. I'm not sure if that tick meant okay yeah but you know i guess i need to use this I, i'll unclick it and i'll say dot response i guess this is what it meant and if i look here under this part okay 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 blah 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 all of these things was there many things are there but okay let's try this out okay I have saved this as well let's do what happens I have uncheck enable generative fallback oh so this is the actual parameter but when I use it it's not showing the appropriate response we are looking for and i'm getting pissed off at this moment because this would have worked you can see there is a clear value there mm, i guess i need to upgrade my own knowledge before creating videos mm, yeah so it went there okay my bad i needed to write response there and now when i did that we see it so yeah so i guess you know this way you can very you know gracefully handle system no match default and very conveniently connect your you know own data uh, into the application there are some limitations like you know you don't have control over you know uh, like few things are there though uh, for example which kind of document pass parser you want to use digital ocr or you know layout but other than that you know which 
section of the documents are being called or you know let's say you want to just connect few uh, stores here and you know few stores there you can do it but other than that you know there is no much customization but i guess you know this is very great way to connect your documents into uh, dialog flow cx agent i hope you have gained some knowledge about generative ai on dialog flow cx platform you understand how to create a data store how to create generative ai and connect it to system no match default and how to connect data store to uh, event handlers uh, if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel to watch more such kind of uh, stuff thank you for watching peace